Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. I'm News 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. We started the day in the 30s and 40s, and look at this. The satellite and radar shows very little cloud cover overhead and dry conditions all across central Florida. As we zoom out, you see this bulk of moisture headed our way, and that's hugging the coastline of Louisiana, kind of exiting Texas as we speak. The setup shows that we'll have this area high pressure overhead. That will scoot over into the Atlantic. Behind that, we're going to see the flow out of the south-southeast. So that's going to draw in some moisture and warmer conditions. So this is the setup. We'll have more clouds throughout the day. Could even see a few evening showers and then afternoon showers and thunderstorms will pick up tomorrow afternoon going into Monday. This is ahead of the cold front that'll move through early Monday morning. Behind that cold front, another cool down. So don't put away the jackets just yet. Still going to be on the cooler side. So let's take a look here at your hour by hour forecast through the clouds and rain. Notice that there's not much change until the afternoon. That's when the clouds really start to thicken up by the early evening, talking anywhere between seven in the evening going into about 10 o'clock tonight. That's where you could see an isolated shower that could happen over Osceola, Brevard, even southern Orange County and even southernmost coastal Volusia County. So don't be surprised if you see a few raindrops here and there. And then for the majority of the night, it's going to be a quiet one. It won't be as cold as it was last night. And to start the day tomorrow, it will be on the dry side with rain chances picking up. So here's a look at your rain coverage. We go from 20% tonight to 40% for tomorrow, picking that rain coverage up a little bit more on Monday. 50%. So just be ready for that. Now, if you are headed to the coast, I know there's lots of spring breakers and bikers in town. Don't worry, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon in the low 70s at the coast. However, although it will look enticing, don't get in the water. Rip current risks are very high out there. For you boaters, not too bad. Seas will be at two to three feet today with a moderate chop along the intracoastal waterway. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. Notice by noon we're up to uh, 73 degrees, up to 78 by three o'clock this afternoon. That's your daytime high. Here's your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Your overnight low will dip down to about 63 degrees tomorrow, 83. So we're warming up ahead of this front. And then on Monday, we still have to deal with the rain. 75 will be your daytime high. Look at Monday night, though, 48 degrees. And then for the remainder of the work week, we're in the upper 60s and then we're back to um, mid 70s by Friday. Don't forget to set the clock ahead one hour tonight. You don't want to be late to your destination early tomorrow morning. We're springing ahead an hour, so we're losing that hour of sleep. That's your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.